Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nivens, or for this evening, known as Jack the Ripper. Of course, it's Freakers Ball tonight the Midland. If you're going out there, I'll see you there. Let's jump right into it with uh, a couple of icons in the world of music. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, slated to get behind the new biopic for James Brown. Of course, the godfather of soul passed away in 2006, but his music still carries on, and of course, his legacy. No word yet on who's slated to play the iconic performer. Uh, there's been some rumors and mumblings of maybe Eddie Murphy, and also uh, the Hurt Locker's Anthony Mackie. Well, I'm fairly certain our next story is exactly the kind of mumbo-jumbo that Kurt Cobain rallied against during his time with Nirvana before he obviously committed suicide back in 1994. And that's a couple of stories that surfaced this week, first one being that the writers of The Big Bang Theory are working on a new TV show titled Smells Like Teen Spirit. And the other is that attention whore Courtney Love, the widow, of course, to Cobain, supposedly shopping around the idea for a Nirvana Broadway performance or maybe even a movie. Well, a couple months back, the world gave us Chavril. Avril Lavigne and uh, Chad Kruger of Nickelback slated to get married. Now it looks like she's going to be covering How You Remind Me from Nickelback for a new animated film. Um, just going to let that one kind of hang out there for a while. Well, something of a hometown story for this next report, and that is that Flyleaf singer Lacey Strum left the band, and uh, who is her replacement? Kansas City performer Kristen May. She's recently been in a band, uh, Vadira, has uh, since gone on a bit of a solo run, but now is being tapped for her replacement. Uh, and so good luck to her, break a leg, and uh, make us all proud, of course. And to close out your Weekly Rock wind-up, it seems that uh, probably is no surprise to anybody, Slipknot now on hiatus, according to frontman Corey Taylor. Of course, Stone Sour doing really well in the brand new album, House of Golden Bones Part 1, that he's behind. So that pretty much leaves, again, that question of what will happen with Slipknot. Only time will tell, I suppose. I'm Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Wind Up again. If you're heading out to Freakers Ball tonight, I'll see you there. Come say hi. Peace. Right, 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 right. <sighs> I'm going to repeat the band, the band. Okay. Well, it seems that... Uh, Am I not going to be able to get this story out? It's like six times. Well, it seems, well, it seems, well, it seems, well, it seems. Well, this week, Wiley f***ing lost the lead singer. F*** it, I'm Jack the Ripper. F*** off. <laughs> it's all out.